Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at TypeScript, specifically for those of you who are already proficient in C Sharp. I'll show you why learning TypeScript as a C Sharp developer could be worth your time. <laughs> C-sharp is a statically typed language developed by Microsoft, and it's long been a favorite of developers because of its versatility, its sophistication, and its powerful features. However, when it comes to client-side web development, C-sharp does have certain limitations. At present, Blazor offers the only real way to write front-end code in C-sharp. Blazor's great, no doubt, but it's not always the most pragmatic solution, particularly when you need to consider cross-platform support and the overall web ecosystem. It's also not great if you need to work with a larger team of front-end engineers. It's not easy to hire Blazor developers to your company. TypeScript, on the other hand, is one of the most popular and most sought after programming languages around today. So it's incredibly easy to build up a team of TypeScript developers. And this is where you, as a C-sharp developer, have a distinct advantage. The concepts that you've already mastered in C-sharp give you a head start in learning TypeScript. Of course, to really appreciate why learning TypeScript as a C-sharp developer makes sense, it's helpful to understand the origins of TypeScript. TypeScript was actually created by Microsoft in 2012, and it was the brainchild of Anders Hillsberg, who was the lead architect of C-sharp. So that's right, the same person who contributed significantly to our favorite language, C-sharp, also had a major hand in developing TypeScript. The goal with TypeScript was to improve and secure the production of JavaScript by introducing static types. Over the years, TypeScript's popularity has surged and it's become an industry standard for web development and it's used by big tech companies like Slack, Airbnb and even Microsoft itself. When you start delving into TypeScript, you'll find a lot of similarities with C Sharp. So the similarities include strong typing, generics, interfaces, all that sort of stuff. So if you're confident with these aspects in C-sharp, then you'll feel right at home by programming in TypeScript. Here's a C-sharp class on the left, and you can see it has properties, methods, and a constructor. Well, here's the same class written in TypeScript. They look almost identical, right? Except for that property declaration, the rest of this looks fairly similar. Interfaces look even more identical. Here's an interface in C Sharp, and then here's the same interface in TypeScript. They're very similar. Just like C Sharp, TypeScript also allows you to implement multiple interfaces on a class. So your class can inherit functionality from the base class, and then it can also implement as many interfaces as it wants. Both these languages also have generics. So here's the generic type parameter T being applied to both of our classes. Um, and then it's used again here in this method down here. So that's referencing the type parameter that we put in. Extends is used in TypeScript to restrict the types that can be used in a generic. So just like you do that in C Sharp, you can do the same functionality in TypeScript, just with slightly different syntax. Both these languages also support async and await, and the usage of async and await is nearly identical, just like this example here. There are also differences between C Sharp and TypeScript. TypeScript is after all a superset of JavaScript. So that means it contains certain characteristics inherent to JavaScript. And you'll need to get comfortable with concepts such as dynamic typing. TypeScript has this any type. And while it is genuinely recommended to avoid using this any type, you will no doubt come across it from time to time when writing TypeScript. The closest thing that C Sharp has to the any type is the dynamic type like this. And if you've ever had to work with dynamic types in C Sharp, then you'll know that they aren't the nicest thing to deal with on a regular basis. So now let's have a look at how you can write some TypeScript code right now in Visual Studio. Here I've got Visual Studio 2022, and it has fantastic support for TypeScript. You can create a new TypeScript file in Visual Studio by simply right-clicking in your product and selecting Add New Item. Then over here on the left, under Web and Scripts, you have the option to add a TypeScript file. So I'm gonna do that now. Then let's put some TypeScript code into our new TypeScript file. I'll just do console and then dot, and you can see that IntelliSense pops up here and it knows about all of the properties on the JavaScript console object. So that's quite nice. That shows Visual Studio's built-in support for TypeScript. So I finish this line, I'll just write a message to the console. 
Then if you want to get this TypeScript file to compile when you build your project, we need to add a NuGet package. So go into the Manage NuGet Packages, and we're gonna add the Microsoft.TypeScript.MSBuild NuGet package. Once that package has installed, then just do a build of your project. And you can see that when we build it, that MS build has created this compiled JavaScript file from here. And that's been compiled from our TypeScript source code. It's also created this source map file here, which too, which is useful for debugging. So we can change this, and if we were to rebuild it, it would rebuild our JavaScript. So there we have it. Learning TypeScript as a C-sharp developer isn't just an opportunity, it's a practical move. By learning TypeScript, you'll be able to write client-side code that runs anywhere JavaScript does. You'll expand your toolkit, making you a more versatile developer in an increasingly web-centric world. And remember, you already have a head start with your C-sharp experience. So thank you for joining me in this video. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like it and subscribe to Train to Code here on YouTube. My name is James Charlesworth, and I'll I'll see you next time for more tips, guides, tutorials on web development and general programming advice. Yeah.